Hi, Hi, konnichiwa. Welcome to Speak Japanese Naturally. So I'm Humi. I have noticed that there are certain words that are often said with the wrong pitch. So I picked 15 words from those. So today I'm gonna teach you those words with the correct pitch and an example sentence. But before that, I want to point out something. It's totally okay to say things with the wrong pitch. Japanese people will understand you anyway if you say words with the wrong pitch. On the contrary, they will be impressed by the fact that you are speaking Japanese. So don't worry about it too much. But with that in mind, if you want to sound Japanese, this video is for you. By the way, I speak standard Japanese. So the pitch I'm teaching you here is that of standard Japanese. So I start with the V0 level, then intermediate, then advanced. The first one, sensei, teacher. It's not sensei, but sensei, sensei. Also, this is written as A, it's read as A. Sensei, sensei. When you are in the classroom and if you want to ask a question, you say, Sensei, sumon garimasu. Sensei, sumon garimasu. Sensei, I have a question. You use the word sensei to address the teacher. Next one, kanji. Kanji. It's not kanji, but kanji. When you feel learning kanji is difficult, you say, kanji wa muskashi desu. Kanji is difficult. Kanji wa muskashi desu. Kanji wa muskashi desu. Next one, Coffee, coffee. It's not coffee, but coffee. Not fee. You might have two problems with this word. The first one is the pitch. It's not coffee, but coffee. And the second one is that it's not fee, but he, he, he. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Can you hear a little bit hissing? Coffee, coffee. He, he, kohi, kohi. When you want to order a cup of coffee for yourself, you say, Kohi o negai shimasu. Kohi o negai shimasu. Kohi o negai shimasu. When you are alone, you don't have to say a cup of because it's apparent that you are ordering a cup of coffee for yourself. Kohi o negai shimasu. Kohi o negai shimasu. Next one is doga, video. It's not doga. If you want to leave a comment for a YouTube video, you write Kono doga totemo yokatta desu. Kono doga totemo yokatta desu. This video is excellent. There's a word video in Japanese, but video means videotape. We don't see that videotapes anymore. So if you are referring to a short video on the net, doga is the word to use. Doga, doga. Ah, kono doga totemo yokatta desu. Kono doga totemo yokatta desu. Kono doga totemo yokatta desu. Or kono doga sugoku yokatta desu. It's more casual form. Kono doga sugoku yokatta desu. Next one is Nihongo. Nihongo, the Japanese language. The country Nihon is Nihon, but when go language is added, the word ends in a high pitch. So it's Nihongo. Nihongo. So if you want to say you speak a little Japanese, you say Nihongo wa sukoshi hanasemasu. Nihongo wa sukoshi hanasemasu. Then someone else would say, Oh, Nihongo o jōzu desu ne. Nihongo o jōzu desu ne. Nihongo o jōzu desu ne. This rule is applied to other languages. All language names end with go. So all language names end in a high pitch. For example, Spain is Spain. But the Spanish, the language is Spain go. Spain go. And Germany is Deutsch, but German is Deutsch go, Deutsch go. China is Chugoku, but Chinese the language is Chugoku go, Chugoku go. And Russia is Russia, Russia, but Russia is Russia go, Russia go, Russia go. And English is Ego, Ego. Here are some other languages. Kankokugo, Kankokugo, Tagalogugo, Tagalogugo, Indonesiago, Indonesiago, Hindigo, Hindigo, Portugalugo, Portugalugo, 
イタリア語イタリア語フランス語フランス語ノルウェー語ノルウェー語 Again, 先生 Teacher I told you that 先生 is 先生 But when you put their name before 先生 and the name ends in a low pitch then that pitch changes 先生 is said in low pitch ふみ先生ふみ先生 If the name ends with a high pitch then the pitch starts high 田中先生田中先生田中先生 Next 仕事 Job 仕事仕事 If you want to say you're busy with work recently, you say 最近仕事が忙しいです最近仕事が忙しいです And when you want to say what do you do for a living, you say お仕事は何ですかお仕事は何ですかお is an honorific prefix when you add this お The pitch changes to お仕事お仕事 Ok, so 仕事お仕事 Oh, but remember when you say someone else's job, you say お仕事 to be polite. But when you are talking about your job, it's never お仕事 It's 仕事私の仕事私の仕事 without お Ok, next one 会社会社会社 company 会社会社 So one morning, if you find you don't feel like going to the company you work for, you tweet, 今日は会社に行きたくない。今日は会社に行きたくない。Next one is 女性 and 男性。It's 女性、男性。女性 is a kind of formal language. You hear 女性 a lot in the news. You don't normally say 女性 in your everyday speech. Instead, you say 女の人。あそこの女の人すごく綺麗。あそこの女の人すごく綺麗。女 sounds very rude and carries some negative emotion. It's better not to say 女 in your speech unless you mean it. あの女最悪 She's awful. あの女最悪 The same is applied to 男性 OK? 男性男性 And if you refer someone as 男 it contains some negative emotion too. For example, あの男には二度と会いたくない I don't want to see him again. あの男には二度と会いたくない Something like that. Next one. やっと Finally It's not やっと It's やっとやっと When you are climbing Mount Fuji and finally reached the top You say やっと頂上に着いたやっと頂上に着いた I've reached the top finally やっと頂上に着いたやっと頂上に着いた When you finally finish your homework You say やっと宿題が終わった I've finally finished my homework やっと宿題が終わったやっと宿題が終わったやっと宿題が終わった Next one やっぱりやっぱり OK? そうやっぱりやっぱり When you can't decide what to order at a restaurant You are like カレーにしようかなえー、でもラーメンにしようかなやっぱりうどんにするカレーにしようかなラーメンにしようかないややっぱりうどんにする Or you can say やっぱり猫が好きだな I really love cats after all やっぱり猫が好きだな新聞 and 毎日新聞新聞 is 新聞 but when you put the name over newspaper before 新聞 the pitch changes for example there's a newspaper called 毎日新聞 in Japan 毎日 means every day but here 毎日 and 新聞 are combined and became one word There's a rule that the pitch falls only once in one word. Okay, so here are the pitch of 毎日 and 新聞 Okay, 毎日新聞 But when these two are combined, the pitch is like this. Pitch drops here only once. So you know that 毎日新聞 is one word. Thus, it's the name of our newspaper. Please look at these two sentences. These look exactly the same. These are the same. So when you just read them, you don't know which means which. But, but when you listen to these sentences, you know the difference. The first one is like this 毎日新聞を読む。毎日新聞を読む。Next one is 毎日新聞を読む。毎日新聞を読む。
so when two words are combined, the pitch changes. If the original pitch of the first word drops somewhere, it won't drop in the combined word. If the original pitch of the second word starts low, it starts high from the start. I think this kind of pitch change is worth remembering. Okay, next one, daigaku, university. And the same is said about daigaku. Daigaku is daigaku. Daigaku. But when it is combined with another word, then the pitch changes. Let's think about Kyoto Daigaku. Kyoto Daigaku. Kyoto University. Kyoto is Kyoto. Kyoto. But when it is combined with Daigaku, it ends with a high pitch and Daigaku starts high. Kyoto Daigaku. Kyoto Daigaku. Kyoto Daigaku. Example sentence is Kyoto Daigaku wa Kyoto ni arimasu. Kyoto University is in Kyoto. Kyoto Daigaku wa Kyoto ni arimasu. Kyoto Daigaku wa Kyoto ni arimasu. Okay, last one. Yonde nai, oboete nai, etc. So when you add nai after te form, which is a spoken language, nai is always nai. Nai. Yonde nai. Kono hon wa mada yonde nai kedo, itsu ka yomitai. I haven't read this book, but I want to read it someday. Kono hon wa mada yonde nai kedo, itsu ka yomitai. Kono hon wa mada yonde nai kedo, itsu ka yomitai. よく覚えてないけどあの人はいい人だったと思う。よく覚えてないけどあの人はいい人だったと思う。I Okay, so that's about it today. Thank you, Janet, for checking the script again. And thank you for watching this video till the end. And if you have any questions, please write them down in the comment box below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Bye! Mata ne!